Benek has three hydro power stations. We have the Salt Rivers Hydro Power Station that was established in the early 1950s, started generation in 1952, and the Richmond Hydro Power Station which started generation in 1962 and the most recent being the Cumberland Hydro Power Station. Both the South Rivers Hydro Power Station and the, South, the Richmond Hydro Power Station, they have reached the end of their design life. Um, in fact, the South Rivers Hydro Power Station has been running for over 60 years while Richmond has been running for over 50 years. We need to either replace or rehabilitate these hydro power stations so that we can get another 30 to 50 years of useful production from these facilities. So we embarked on a project to completely refurbish um, the power station at Richmond and Salt Rivers as well as the pipeline facility to ensure that future generations will have good source of hydro power um, going forward. We're replacing in total, nearly three kilometers of, of pipeline between the power stations, Richmond and South Rivers. Approximately nearly two kilometers at South Rivers and just under one kilometer at, at Richmond. Traditionally, we have used the wood stave technology, um, which use steel bands to band pieces of wood together to form a pipeline. And uh, we have moved to a glass reinforced plastic pipeline. We have done this for various reasons. The glass reinforced plastic, it's cheaper, um, it has better technical characteristics, and it enables us to bury the pipe and um, harden the pipeline against natural disasters. We started with a feasibility study as to the financial and technical feasibility of um, replacing or re renewing the the power station and the pipeline facilities. The previous feasibility study was useful, but because of the complex nature of the, the, the project, we undertook another feasibility study in 2008-2009, which provided significantly more details. There was a, a regional agent, GTZ, um, based in St. Lucia, that assisted us in some of the consultancy work and various departments from Bendek were involved in the process. From that feasibility study, we had a very good idea of the detailed scope of works that was required to help us to reach our eventual goal. Some of the decisions that we, we made subsequently were influenced by the, the floods or the natural disasters that occurred in 2010, 2011 and 2013. Um, the decision to bury the pipe um, came after those events. Um, major events come in so soon after one another. Um, but from the study, we had all the technical data, detailed surveys, we knew the type of technology we wanted, we had some guidance as to the technologies that were available um, for changes at the power station, the different technologies for the pipe. And then we developed a project which involved basically all the engineering departments in, in Vinlik. Where we are right now, in that we have completed the refurbishment of the Richmond pipeline. We have installed approximately 900 meters of pipes. We have major refurbishment. We have changed all major equipment apart from the base and the civil works in the power stations. We have changed the turbine blades, the alternators, the governors, the um, voltage regulators, the controls. So the power station now operates in a, in a very modern, it's a very modern power station, even though the, the base still goes back to the 1960s. Um, we can run the, the, and we do eventually intend to run the power station remotely um, because of the new facilities that, or the new capabilities that we have with the refurbished power station. At South Rivers, we are currently at the stage where we are replacing the high pressure pipeline, the entire high pressure pipeline. Um, we hope to complete this um, during the month of August and then we will replace certain aspects of the low pressure pipeline. At the power station, we are going to do a very similar thing to Richmond in terms of the generators, but in addition to that, we have um, installed and have already commissioned new high voltage switch gear um, to make the station more reliable and less susceptible to damage from floods in the power station. 
and that facility is up and operational. We have installed approximately 570 kilowatts of solar. Um, we have used um, the roof of a large building at Kane Hall, the, the stores building at Kane Hall, and a large area on the ground, field area at Lomans Bay. And um, we have installed this facility to help to reduce our, our fuel bill. The benefit as well of the, the solar project is that it produces electricity during the periods where our peak demand is greatest. So even though the, the input is relatively small at the moment, um, it is a useful um, impact um, on our electricity grid, both in terms of power generation and um, energy generation. It's a baby step, if you want to call it, but we hope it will lead to more solar installations eventually on the mainland and in the Grenadine Islands, as we have been able to prove that it's a financially viable solution. It can compete in terms of energy production with the traditional um, generation sources. Many of our small countries rely on a lot of technical capability um, from larger developed countries. And sometimes you need it, but our people here are just as capable and just as talented. Um, we have been able to design, procure, and install our solar project completely in-house. I'm proud to say that our staff has the capability and have demonstrated it very well. The Hydro Project is probably the largest engineering undertaking um, for Vinlec without a main external consultant. Currently, we have undertaken the management of the project internally, especially at the power station. A lot of the installation work is done by our staff. This has taken a significant effort to coordinate four major contractors locally and internationally, coordinate with consultants when some technical help is required, and manage the project day to day. Eventually, the, soap, the hydro project will be approximately 16 to 17 million dollars. So while it is not as large as some of the other projects that we have undertaken monetarily, it's a major undertaking in our coordination efforts, in our engineering efforts, um, in our design efforts to have this, this project up and running. Um, we are pleased that Richmond is up and running and performing in the manner that we, we expected it to. The solar projects are up and running and performing very well and we expect when South Rivers is completed that um, it will also perform as expected. And in the case of South Rivers, we actually expect it to perform and produce more energy than it has been in the past because there are some design errors or errors of design um, made a long time ago that um, we think we have been able to improve on and we expect to produce more energy from South Rivers on completion of the project.